Um, so there's a couple of ways to explore the DOM. Uh, let's look at some HTML real quick. This is a little web page that is just very simple. It's basically two paragraphs, this one with a little bit of emphasized text and this one. And uh, you can explore the DOM in any page really easily in uh, any browser that has a sort of inspection tool. Um, Firefox, you can install the Firebug plugin, which is really useful. Um, Chrome and Opera both come with uh, an inspection tool that is automatically loaded. So this is Opera, um, and this is that web page that I just showed you. Now if I right click on this heading right here, and then go down to Inspect Element, click on it, it's going to load up the inspection tool. And down here, it's actually showing, I'm going to move this out of the way because you don't need to think about this. This is, this is the, uh, the document object model. This is the, the DOM tree for this page. It's very simple. And you can see that it actually automatically collapses everything up. Um, and right now, at, at the root, you just have HTML. And as you expand in, um, the head, if I click on it, uh, the highlighting disappears, you'll see, because the head is actually not visible um, in the page. Um, but then if I click on the body, it highlights the entire uh, content of the page. And you can drill in. So this would be the first level heading. And uh, you notice I clicked on the little plus to expand to the content. Um, this browser conveniently sort of clumps them together. Um, even though they're, they're separate nodes, pe people don't tend to think about them that way. So it's very convenient that it kind of puts it out like this. And then these two paragraphs are inside of a little div element. And drilling down, you can see how this paragraph is broken into two parts. And you can't actually read the text that's inside this em tag because it's inside the, the tag. So this is the way that JavaScript is going to look at the page. And you can actually uh, you can use JavaScript to add nodes to the document uh, on the fly, um, just going in and navigating around and, and creating or removing elements. Um, and, and that will dynamically update. So there are a couple of there are a couple of other tools besides this Opera one I just showed. Um, I mentioned Firebug. Um, any built-in browser inspect tool um, like Chrome and Opera have. Um, manually, you can, you can open up the source to a page, and you can logically uh, deduce what, what the uh, DOM structure would be. So it's, it's actually, it usually follows the way that uh, most people uh, indent. So you see here, I've, I've put one indentation here. Everything that is one indentation from the HTML root element is a direct child of the HTML. So that's just head and body all the way down. And this is actually, this is indented incorrectly. That should be tabbed over. And all these should be tabbed in a little bit. Now it's properly indented. Um, and then so you can see that this h1 and this div are the children of the body, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now this breaks down when you get to the text level areas usually because it's kind of awkward to take an element like this and put it out on its own line and indent it and then do the same thing with the text. Although sometimes you'll see indentation done this way. Um, this would be the, the way that if you were thinking in terms of nodes, this would be the node indentation. And I could break this out onto its own line as well. And you could do it so that every single line would be its own node. And then the indentation would indicate how many uh, how many nodes deep it is, or how many parents and, or, and descendants it has. Um, the last way to navigate through the DOM is uh, through JavaScript. Um, and I'm not going to go into detail on that right now, but JavaScript basically has uh, methods built in for you to, say, look at, a, look at a node and then move up a level, move down a level, uh, move into the children. You, know, you can say, go down to a child, the fifth child of this element, and so on.